Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this Canadian Pacific H2O EL locomotive. And this is an experimental hydrogen powered locomotive. With the goal being to get to a locomotive that has zero emissions. And this is rebuilt off from an old SD42F. And while it has not entered service yet, it's still in the experimental stages. It has run under its own power. It is being tested by Canadian Pacific right now. So let's get into it. So as usual, we're gonna start with the rear coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block forward, on the bottom middle, we're gonna put three lapis lazuli blocks. And then a warp slab on the upper hip box of each side. Above it, five lapis lazuli. Then in front of it in the center, do a three block tall T-shape. Then put a torch on either side of this second layer. And in front of that, we're gonna do a three by five of lapis lazuli. Then on the side gap, we're gonna put three smooth court slabs for stairs. Three on this side. And three on this top middle back here. Then down here, we're gonna open a dark oak fence gate on bottom above each of the rails. Then we're gonna put two end rods here and two here. And then up on these slabs, we're gonna put a mangrove fence gate in the middle and a glow item frame on either side. In front of this on bottom, put a fence gate above each rail. Then on the next block forward in the middle, a black stone brick block, black stone brick slab, and a fence gate. Then a block, a slab, and a fence gate, and then a block, and a slab. Then we're going to put another right wheel here, here, and here, and same thing on this opposite side. Then put a dark oak fence gate in each of these front corners, and in the gaps between the wheels, we're going to put two warped fence gates on all four of these spaces here. Then we're going to put a hopper on the side of all six of these wheels. Next, we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing over here. Then we're going to come on the top middle with lapis lazuli block and do a line down the center to the front of this. On the side of it, do a full row of warp fence gates here. And then a full row of warp fence gates on this side. Then we're gonna come on bottom in front of it and go three wide with lapis lazuli in the middle and start extending that forward. And we're gonna make that 14 blocks long. So a three by 14. Then on this conductor side of it, do a full row of lapis on this side. And then on this engineer side, we'll do a full row of lapis, except we're gonna leave the block one block before the front empty like that. Then we'll come on top on the second layer and we're gonna fill the whole top middle three of it with lapis lazuli and bring that to the front. Then we'll come in front of this on bottom and do a dark oak fence gate on each rail. In front of that, another right wheel on each rail and in the middle, a black stone brick block and a slab, a fence gate, block and slab, a fence gate and a block and a slab. Then we'll put another right wheel here and here, and here and here. Then in these front corners, a dark oak fence gate on each rail. Then on the gaps between the wheels, we're gonna put two warped fence gates on all four of these spaces. Then we'll go ahead and put a hopper on the side of all six of these front wheels. And then crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three hoppers. And then same thing on this side, one on all three of these hoppers. Then we'll come up on the second layer with lapis and do a line right down the center to the front of this. And same as before on the side, a full row of warp fence gates here. And then a full row of warp fence gates on this side here. Then at the front of this, we'll do a five by three of lapis lazuli coming out to each side of the tracks. 
In front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the center and put a torch on either side of the second layer. Then on the bottom middle three, we'll put three warp stairs like this and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above it, a lapis in the middle, two upside down warp stairs on either side of that. Then we're gonna come in and grab smooth court slabs. And we're gonna put three slabs on this top middle. Three coming up this side back gap for the front stairs and three coming up this side gap for the front stairs. Then take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to the middle second block for the coupler. Under it, a dark oak fence gate, open a fence gate above each rail. Then we need to grab an end rod here. And we're gonna put two end rods here, two here, and up here, we're gonna put a glow item frame on either side and a mangrove fence gate in the middle. Now we'll come over on this other side where this gap is, and we're gonna put two quartz stairs here, then a lapis in front of it, and two behind it. On the other side, just do four lapis right here. Then behind that on each side, three warped fence gates. And then behind that, we're gonna do a row of sideways anvils to the back of this, and same thing on this side. Then come up here and crouch, and on the back of each anvil, put a single brewing stand. Then come to the front of this and crouch, and we're gonna put a zombie head on each side up here. Then we're gonna take a perch button on bottom, start right here, and put a button every other block coming back. And same thing on this side, start at the back and do a button every other block till you get right here. Then we're gonna come and stand on top of the front here and crouch, and we're gonna put a single warp slab on all six of these hoppers. Then move a hitbox down in the spaces between them and put two slabs on all four of these gaps. And then we're going to repeat it at the other truck, so come up here and crouch. Put a single warp slab on all six of the hoppers here. Then move a hitbox down in the space between and put two slabs in all four of these spaces. Then we're gonna come out here and we're gonna put a skeleton skull above the front and back wheel on both sides. And then a warp fence above the center wheel on each side. Then come up here and crouch and we're gonna put an end rod here and here. And then one here and one here. And then we're gonna repeat that process for the front truck. So above the front and back wheel, put a skeleton skull on both sides. And above the center wheel, put a warp fence on both sides. Then come up here and crouch and put an end rod here and here. Then one here and one here. Then we'll come up on this third layer and we're gonna fill the top middle three with lapis lazuli and start bringing that down. And we're gonna bring that down three wide all the way to the other end of the locomotive here. Then we're going to grab a smooth cord slab on this upper hitbox and we're going to go end to end up here with slabs. And then same thing on the opposite side, end to end on this upper hitbox with smooth cord slabs. And now the underframe's done and we'll come back up front to start working on the nose of the locomotive here. Now come on top of the front on the third block end, do a lime concrete, a door, and three lime concrete. Then a white concrete in the middle, and the rest lime. Then three lime concrete on the top middle. Come behind it, two here, two here, and three across the top middle. Then on either side, we're gonna put two outward facing prismarine brick stairs, and we're gonna cover the top of this in light blue carpet here. Then on the bottom of this side, three lime shulker boxes and a lime concrete. On this side, three shulker boxes and a deep slate tile block. Then four lime concrete above that on each side. Then we'll put a lime in all four corners and two white concrete on the middle of each side. Up here, we're gonna do black stained glass block, then lime, then black, then lime, then black. Then two black stained glass panes on each side and a lime concrete at the back. Then a white stained glass paint on the side here for a mirror. 
and one on this side here. Then on this top outside edge, four waxed oxidized cut copper stairs facing outward, and four on this side. <laughs> Fill the rest of the cab roof in between here with lime concrete, and put a bell on this front middle. Then there's a little logo, so we have to make some banners. Come into a loom with a white banner and lime dye. Put a vertical on the left and right, a horizontal on top and bottom. Then put a white border on that. Then do a lime banner and white dye, and do a horizontal on top, and put a lime border on that. And then we'll come place these. We're gonna come on the side of the nose here and put the banners like this. And then come to this side and put the banners like this. Now come behind the cab and put a column of lime concrete five high here and here and one on the middle. Then behind it on each side we're going to do two lapis, then two lime concrete. Then behind that on either side we're going to do two light blue concrete and then two lapis. And behind that on each side a column of four light blue concrete. Then we're going to come four high with stained glass panes. And we're going to cover the light blue with light blue stained glass panes, the lapis with blue, and the lime concrete with lime stained glass panes. So it's a four by four there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side, four high, with the corresponding colors of stained glass panes like this. Behind this, we're going to move to the outside edge of each side and do two lime concrete on the bottom. And then above it, two light blue concrete on each side. Then behind it on this side, we're going to do two white concrete on the bottom. Over here, one white concrete here. And behind it, two blocks of coal. On this gap right here, we're going to put a black stained glass pane right here. And then above this, we're going to do two lime concrete on the top of each side. And then behind this, we're going to go to light gray concrete and do two on each side. And two white concrete above it on each side. Then we're going to come up here on top with deep slate brick walls. And we're going to put three here, three here. Then here, we're going to do three deep slate tile walls like this. And go ahead and fill the middle with lime concrete for now. Then actually, on this top middle, we're going to change this middle one to a deep slate tile wall, put an oak trap door on it. Then surround it with four polished andesite slabs, then a wax weathered cut copper slab, and all four of these corners. Then, behind that, we're going to go five wide with our wax weathered cut copper slabs up here. And just cover the whole top of this. Then we'll come underneath here and put a wall in each of these corners to cover the hole and a light blue concrete under it to cover that hole on each side. Then we'll go back to wax weathered cut copper slabs on this upper hip box and we'll put four here. Come to this side and put four right here. Now we'll come down to the back on the third block in in the middle right here, put two blocks of coal and an iron door here. Then put two light gray concrete on either side of it and a three by three of light gray concrete above it. Then we're gonna do four light gray concrete here, four here, and we're gonna put four light gray stained glass panes in this corner and four in this corner. And then in front of it, we'll go back to our light gray concrete here and we're just gonna fill all the sides in now. So we'll start at the front with light gray concrete here and we'll go four blocks tall and we'll just go ahead and bring that all the way down to the back of the locomotive here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, four blocks tall with light gray concrete and we'll go ahead and fill this all in here. Just like that. 
Now there's some vents, so we're gonna come on the side one block in from the back here, and we're gonna do four columns of three ladders on the side here. And then we'll do the other side, so same thing, one block from the end, four columns of three ladders. Then start on top of the back up here, do a polish andesite stair, three deep slate tile. Polish andesite, three deep slate tile. Polish andesite, two deep slate tile, and a polish andesite. Then come to this side and just copy that stair pattern directly across. And then we'll go ahead and fill in all in between the stairs up here with light gray concrete down to the back end. Just like that. Then up here at the front, we're gonna put a warp stair facing outward on either side and three blue concrete in the middle. Behind that, we'll do a prismarine brick stair facing outward on either side and three light blue concrete. Then we'll do two wax oxidized cut copper stairs on either side and two rows of lime concrete in the middle. Then over here, we're gonna put three upside down polish andesite stairs, starting from the back coming forward here, and then a right side up forward facing stair. Do the same thing on this side here, and fill the rest of this hole with light gray concrete. Now, come on the middle of this lime concrete here, and we're gonna open a warp fence gate here and a sideways one behind it for the horn. Then we're gonna put a deep slate brick wall on the top middle right here, polish andesite slab on either side, two rows of three in front of it. Then go to a polish andesite block, and we're gonna come on top because this one has a weird pattern of fans. We're gonna put one here, then one here. Come back here, and we'll do one here, one here, then back here, one here, and one here. Then put an iron trap door on top of all six of these. Then we're gonna fill the rest of it up here, wherever we haven't built something, three wide with polished andesite slabs, and bring that all the way down to the back end of the locomotive here. Just like that. Next, we're gonna come up front and come on top of the cab. In this corner, put a flower pot, over here, two levers going into each other. Then back here, two levers going into each other on each side and cover the rest of the top with lime carpet. Then we're gonna come down on this front porch and do a T-shape of blue carpet here. Then take out birch fences for our railings. Right here, come up four. Right here, we're gonna come up three, over one, and up two right here. Copy it on this side. So right here, up three, over one, up two. Here, up four. Then two warp fences here, two here, and a chain across this gap. Then we're gonna come to the rear end, go to birch fence. Right here, we're gonna come up four, then forward one on top. Here is just like the front, we come up three over one and up two. Then here, up four, forward one on top. Then here, up three over one, up two. Then two warp fences here two here. Then in this middle, we're going to put a blue carpet down here and a chain across the gap. Then we'll also put a blue carpet on either side of this door. Then we'll come on this top middle, do a polished blackstone button under it a glow item frame with a frog light. Then a sign with sustainably driven and hit that with a glow ink sign. On this left hand side over here, we're going to do four jungle fence gates for the ladder. Then we're gonna turn around in here and close a jungle trap door right here because that's where the brake wheel is on this one. Then on these two item frames, put a frog light on each one down here. Then we'll do the front. So come up here and put a frog light on these two item frames. Then one on the middle of the nose with a frog light. Then on this corner of the nose, do a dark oak sign with 1001. Same thing on this side, hit them both with white dye and a glow exec each. Now come into a loom with a light gray banner and black dye. 
Put a vertical on the left, a horizontal on the top and bottom. New banner, a vertical on either side, and then a horizontal on the top in the middle. New banner, a vertical on either side, and a diagonal. New banner. Make the bottom half black, vertical on the right. New banner, vertical in the center. Then go to light gray dye and put a light gray border on every single one of these banners. And then we'll come and place this. And this is going to be for our lettering on the side of the locomotive here. So we're going to come up on this side, on the top, right here, and use the banners to spell out Canadian. And then we'll do the other side. On this side, we're going to start right here and use our banners to smell out Canadian. And then we can come in and get rid of the N and the D, but keep the other ones. Then we'll come back into a loom with a light gray banner and black dye. Put a vertical on the left, top half black, new banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on the middle and the top and then put a light gray banner around those two. Then we'll come up under here and use our banners to spell out Pacific. And of course, we have to do the same thing on this side. So come down under here and then use the banners to spell out Pacific on this side as well. Just like that. Now come up here and knock out a two by two on top here. And we need to get a two by two of light gray concrete behind it. Then take black stone brick stairs and make a square shape like this. Then we'll come over on this side and we're gonna do the same thing here. So we'll come up right here, knock out this two by two, get a two by two of light gray concrete behind it and then use black stone brick stairs to make a square shape right here. Then we have one more banner to make. So we're gonna come into a loom with a black banner and lime dye. We're gonna put a border on it and make the bottom half lime. And this is to make the front door look better. So we're gonna come right here and we're gonna crouch and put the banner over this door here. Now we'll do the interior, so come on inside here put an end portal in that corner. Then stack smooth sandstone slabs up to the window here and here. And then two blocks high on the side here, two blocks high on this side. Then we'll put one on this back middle, then two smooth sandstone stairs coming down. Back here, put two blast furnaces and a stair on each side for seats, then a slab here and here. Over here, an end crystal on an item frame and a lever on the right. Come down here, and come back outside because the interior is now complete. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Canadian Pacific H2O EL experimental hydrogen locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.